In this topic, we're going to discuss sickle cell anemia. So we're going to look at what mutation leads to sickle cell anemia, what is sickle cell anemia, what are the symptoms of sickle cell anemia, and then we're going to look at sickle cell anemia and areas where there is malaria. A mutation is a change in the sequence of nucleotide bases in DNA. This change may alter codon, resulting in a different amino acid being coded for. This may result in a different polypeptide and consequently a different primary structure in a protein. Now if you have a look at this diagram, notice how a base substitution where CTC is now CAC, so thymine has been replaced by adenine, is going to result in a different amino acid being coded for. So you now you've got valine being coded for. So in this case, when thymine has been substituted by adenine, the amino acid valine will result. And if this occurs in the amino acid sequence for hemoglobin, this will result in sickle cell anemia. So what is sickle cell anemia? This is a hereditary blood disease. It's caused by a faulty allele that codes for hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is less soluble and sticks to each other. Fibers are formed in the red blood cell, and the red blood cells are pulled out of shape, as you can see in this diagram on the right there. These red blood cells cannot transport oxygen, and they may block small capillaries. So if there's a base substitution in the DNA, the amino acid valine will be coded for if adenine has replaced thymine. This minor change will affect the beta chain of the hemoglobin molecule. So here you can see a normal hemoglobin molecule and you've got those four different chains, two beta, two alpha. The hemoglobin will therefore have a sticky patch, hence the name HBS hemoglobin, Hb, and then S. These hemoglobin S stick together and form long fibers. These fibers distort the red blood cells, making them sickle or crescent-shaped, as you can see on the right there. And these sickle cells are unable to carry oxygen, and they may block small capillaries. Finally, what do you think the symptoms would be of someone who's got sickle cell anemia? Well, severe pain because the sickle cells block tiny vessels. Anemia. Damaged cells can't be replaced fast enough by the spleen. And then tiredness because of a shortage of oxygen. Now, if you have a look at this map, notice how where there's a high incident of malaria on the left there, the sickle cell trait is also found, as you can see on the right. This is because people who are carriers of the sickle cell trait are less likely to catch malaria due to the shape of their red blood cells. A carrier's condition is known as sickle cell trait. Normal people would be HBA, HBA. And then those people who've got sickle cell anemia will be HBS, HBS. So a person who is a carrier, who's got the sickle cell trait, doesn't have all the symptoms of sickle cell anemia. They've also got a much higher resistance against malaria than those people who have normal hemoglobin molecule, uh, alleles. So we say that this is a process is called natural selection. So those people who've got the sickle cell trait have been selected for in malarial areas. And that concludes our lesson, the end.